Hey yo, Swarm Nation, what is going on? And welcome back to another Skyblock episode here on the channel. Today, guys, we have such a great video planned out for all of you guys. And you guys guessed it, we are indeed back on Skyblocky. And if you guys are enjoying the series as much as I am playing it, make sure to go ahead and drop a like on today's video. It does show me you guys are enjoying the content and it helps me out quite a bit. So, but one really quick thing before we get into today's awesome and amazing video, my island and I have put together a little giveaway for you guys. And we are actually giving a rank, a mystic rank, which is a pretty decent rank out on the server. So if you guys want to enter for a chance to win that mystic rank, I will be picking someone in my next video who goes ahead and comments down their IGN and finds the secret keyword that I'm going to be hiding in today's video. And it's not going to just be a keyword. It's going to be a key topic. So make sure to watch the video to figure out what that topic is. And I would also like to mention, guys, I do have a discord where I go ahead and talk with all of you guys on a daily basis. And we also do a bunch of different kinds of giveaways ways in there so you guys should definitely check that out the link for that will be down in the description below but honestly ladies and gentlemen it's time to go ahead head on over to the island and show you guys what kind of epic farm we are going to be going over and showing you guys today all right you guys so a lot has changed on the island guys i want to go ahead and show you some of the quick big changes so as you can tell in our last video we built this giant sugar cane farm and showed you guys actually how to build each layer so if you guys do want to check that out i'll have the link for that video down in the description but we have made quite a bit of upgrades and we've pretty basically moved out of this beginner area on our island now down here used to be all of the cool little stuff that we had like our grinders set up and everything but we basically moved out of there and made a lot more things efficient and that is what i'm about to show you guys today so as you can see if we look up towards the top of the island this is where we are located at and if i go ahead and do is warp top or is warp main sorry we can see that we are going to be in spawning up here oh my god dude who is oh, craig get out of here you weirdo don't mind craig guys if you visit the island he is uh he's just kind of creepy you know but honestly guys we made a bunch of different upgrades to the actual grinder setup so if you guys do want to visit my island you guys can we have a bunch of grinders and everything like one two three four five six seven and then we have like eight more down here so i think we have like 15 or something like that we have a bunch of grinders say nonetheless is visit swerve yt your boy just got media on the server so thank you so much to the mc hub team you guys have been great but honestly guys this is going to be the legendary farm that i wanted to show you now we have spent some time and we have word that this is what the top islands are actually using to make all of their money it is this exact same design and i'm here to show you guys it today and let me just say dude this strategy is so big brain i didn't even think about it i probably wouldn't have ever have thought about it but honestly let me show you how this works so right now to start we have the collection box here or the collector box sorry and a really cool thing you guys can do with this is actually it collects everything in a three by three chunk so the chunk gets in and then every chunk surrounding that chunk it will collect the materials and all the drops in it and you guys can actually set up auto crafting for it and right now we have an auto crafting for the ender pearl the enchanted ender pearl which actually takes normal ender pearls and heart of the seas to go ahead and craft and let me just say this grinder setup is literally legendary and i'm gonna explain how to do it all but it literally combines both heart of the seas and ender pearls into one grinder so that it is optimized for an auto crafting bot to go ahead and craft anything into it so Oh my god this is big brain so let me go ahead and start from the top of the farm so at the top of the farm these are in fact guardian spawners which if we go ahead and take a look at you guys can see this one right here is around level 101 this one right here is 58 and this one right here is 65 so take into consideration the levels of this farm just in case you are wondering how efficient yours is going to be but basically what we have is it looks like a five by five hole with a center dot in here and basically if i wait a enough uh a guardian will spawn and fall into here so i'm gonna go ahead and wait for that guardian to go ahead and spawn for us all right so the guardian spawned and as you see it falls down into the center hole which then comes down here basically and is entrapped into a cobweb shoot so basically what this is going to allow is the bedrock grinders and all the other grinders if you guys don't know bedrock grinders are the best type of grinders in the best tier for the robots here on the server so definitely go ahead and try to get your grinders all the way up to bedrock if you can basically what this allows is it allows for all the grinders to go ahead and give it time to go ahead and whack now it's not going to go ahead and kill the entire stack because we don't actually want it to do that because if we go ahead and actually look at these bedrock grinders they actually have storages which if we go ahead and take a sell one really quick here they make so much money if we go ahead and just right click him really quick we made literally 19 million dollars there and i think these things fill up within like an hour so honestly you're making around probably close to around over three to four billion dollars a day potentially 
especially with this setup. Now, I was told that IS Top 3, 2, and 1 are doing the same method and that they are making anywhere between 4 to $5 billion every single hour, bro. Like, it is actually crazy how OP this is, but let me explain the farm a little more. So basically, what you want to have is that same little uh, setup up there where it's a little uh, 5 by 5 And on the corners of the 5 by 5 you're going to want to go ahead and place your grinders. Now, this doesn't have to be a dispenser or whatever. I mean, this is a chest. You don't have to do that, but under the grinders, guys, you're going to want to put on the very bottom of the layer. This is where it gets big brain, the endermite spawners. Now, if you guys don't know, endermites actually drop the ender pearls. And this leads me to my next point is once this allows the stack to go ahead and give these guys time to go ahead and collect a bunch of inventory drops into their inventory, aka the heart of the seeds from the actual guardians, it allows the rest of the stack to go ahead and fall down into the void alongside all of the endermites. And then it actually goes ahead and collects those drops that it actually gets from the fall damage stack and puts it into the collection box. So you are getting best of both worlds when it comes to the looting factor on the actual bedrock grinders alongside with the auto crafting. Because if you guys don't know, enchanted ender pearls sell for a ridiculous amount of credits. If I go ahead and go to the shop really quick here, we can go over to mob drops really quick. Oh, I don't think they're in mob drops. I think they're in expensive. They're somewhere, but they're around $2,250 per enchanted ender pearl. Oh, wait, what the heck? Box just dropped me in a, a legendary tropical fish. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, equip that. Thank you. I swear, the people on my island, they're great, but they're just so mysterious, bro. I just, I don't understand these guys sometimes. Anyways, I, I don't even know what they're doing. Craig and Boggs are just weird. Yo, I want to know what you guys think they're having a conversation about right now. I mean, look, they look guilty. They look like they're up to something, okay? They just... Uh, this funny business I could not stand for, okay? Anyways, back to the farm. Sorry for getting distracted, but you guys understand the premise now. Basically, what happens is the Endermites combined with the Heart of the Seas create the Enchanted Ender Pearls while also giving the Bedrock Grinders an ability to go ahead and use their looting abilities to go ahead and fill up the storage. And we can obviously sell that with a sell wand, which is going to give us a bunch of money. So if I go ahead and actually sell all these guys, I mean, I think we just sold them literally like 10 minutes ago, but boom, 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 boom. I mean, I'm already up to a hundred million dollars just like that literally within 10 minutes it's pretty crazy how efficient this farm is and i didn't even sell the collection box down here which i'm going to in three two one we can just go ahead and right click that they probably just sold that as well but we made a quick six million dollars from that not too bad at all boys and like i said if you guys want a schematic for this farm i'm gonna go ahead and set a like goal of 50 likes if we can hit 50 likes on today's video i'll go ahead and release the schematic for the farm or you guys can go ahead and pause the video at points to see what dimensions are and oh my dude what i think i just saw craig inside of the, the cobwebs anyways yeah this farm is super super op and honestly we make a bunch of money from it every single day but that's literally going to be it for today's video if you guys did enjoy make sure to go ahead like the video subscribe if you are new and go ahead and enter the giveaway if you haven't already and don't forget to join my discord for additional and bonus content it's pretty lit there but anyways guys thank you so much for watching i'll go ahead and catch you in the next one i love you all peace out and goodbye.